What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. This is yet another Windows 11 tutorial and it's something that I've definitely been looking for. Basically, if you hit start, you've got this menu over here. If you are one who is fond of scrolling through all of your programs, you now have to click all apps in the top right and then you see this over here. A little bit annoying, but it's something you could get used to. I personally use this list way more often than I actually thought and getting back to the original Windows 10 start bar is something I definitely liked it too. Something about the new Windows 11 version, or at least the insider preview which it is currently, is you can roll back to the Windows 10 start menu without any third party downloads. It's nice and simple. That's exactly what I'll be showing you in this video today, even though I'll be disabling it after this video, just so that I can make Windows 11 videos in a more Windows 11 environment rather than one more familiar to Windows 10. So to begin, hold start and then press R to bring up the run dialog box. Inside of here, type in R-E-G-E-D-I-T, reg edit, and then hit OK. Click yes when prompted for admin, and inside of the screen over here, we'll be looking on the left hand side at these folders here, in which we'll be navigating across to H key current user, which will then be expanding, and we'll look for software, we'll expand this, then Microsoft, expand this as well, and you'll see a whole bunch of folders. Simply make sure that you're still under the Microsoft folder up here and you haven't accidentally scrolled too far. So inside of the Microsoft folder, we'll be expanding the Windows folder. Inside of Windows, we'll be expanding current version and inside of here, we'll be expanding Explorer. Then right next to it, we'll see advanced. Simply click on this and you'll see a whole bunch of items on the right hand side now. All that we have to do is right click, choose new and then D word. For their name, we'll make it exactly start with a capital S underscore show capital S classic capital C mode capital M. You'll find this in the description down below. Start underscore show classic mode. Click anywhere to save this and then double click it to edit its value. Inside of here, all we'll be doing is making sure hexadecimal is selected. We'll type in one and then hit OK. After doing this, all you have to do is reboot your Windows computer. I'll simply try logging out to check if that works as well. So I'll click sign out, I'll enter my password, sign in again and hit start. Now you can see we've got the old start menu back. You don't have to restart, but you can do that if you're more comfortable than logging out and logging back in. We now have the Windows 10 start menu back, but of course you can see it's Windows 11. Clicking this button up here, we still have the old change account settings button, which pulls us into the new settings window over here. So we are still running Windows 11, though things are brought back to a bit more of a familiar environment. I much prefer this and I'll actually be using this on my main work computer when Windows 11 eventually gets released. For now, I'll leave it back in the original Windows 11 start menu just for more accurate videos. If you'd like to get it back, reopen Reg Edit, head back to said folder, which you'll find in the description down below. H key current user, software, Microsoft Windows, current version, Explorer, advanced, and then simply locate start show classic mode and set it either to zero, closing it, or simply delete it. After doing that, we can try logging out once again. And after we sign in, hitting start, you can see we're back at the new start menu that I personally don't like as much as the old one. But anyways, this video has served its purpose. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. My name is Minitech Nobi here for Troubleshoot and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.